Hey y'all, it's Saturday, 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 yay, 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 yay. Okay. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Saturday, I'm eating some Ramona's, if you know, you know, West Side, West Coast, Cali, Los Angeles, Ramona's. A burrito and a taco. Red burrito. They changed the wrapper though. It used to have like the. Let me see. I don't know how it go. Anyways, just thought I would do a Ramona's mukbang. Okay, 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 okay. This is a red burrito, and I have um. What do I have in here? I have. Meat, cheese, and beans, and um, cilantro and onions. Amen. Mm. It's good to y'all. Next time y'all go to Ramona's, Ramona's, you know, next time y'all in California, Los Angeles to be exact, go to Ramona's, the one off of Western. They remodeled and everything. And you don't even have to ask for extra sauce. It's like automatically on there. Hope everybody is doing well for the ones that will watch this video. I'm doing okay, I guess, you know. Um, they have a chill day, you know. Just came back from um, getting Ramona's with my oldest daughter and um. Just chilling like a villain. And, um, that's it. Trying to get used to this YouTube thing, you guys. Like the whole algor algorithm, whatever it's called. And trying to get yourself out there and stuff. It's a lot of work. Like, I don't even, I don't even have a whole, whole bunch of followers on no platform. So, anyway, I guess I got to keep trying until I get to where I want to be, you know? The weather is like um it's like rain on and off, like sprinkling stuff like that, you know. Um you know that's about it. I'm gonna do the story time about the first time I ate edibles, y'all. Which wasn't that long ago. It was very crazy. Mm -hmm. This is good, though. I don't know what to talk about. What's a what's a good subject to talk about, sir? Uh, I don't know. You never know nothing. Mm. Mm. I have so much to say, but as soon as I come on here, I don't have nothing to say. Okay. Yeah, I've been single for like seven years. I was married like five and a half years. To um a Nigerian man. 
That's why my last name is Enze. Um, we got a divorce, but I just kept the last name because I like that name better than my maiden name, and I like the way it sounds. But um, I'm not Nigerian. Born and raised in America. So was my mama, my grandma, my great grandmother, and so on and so forth. Except for the ones, you know, that was on that ship, the Atlanta. What's it called? What's it called, Summer? The Transatlantic. You know that. So. A lot of people think that I'm Nigerian because of last name, but it's not. It's because I was married to a Nigerian. Big ups to Nigerian. Love y'all music. And I love Nollywood so much. Before I even met him, I, I love Nollywood. Nollywood is so good. It's very entertaining. But back to what I was saying, y'all, I've been single for so long. I've been divorced uh, seven years. Um, Christmas Eve last year was March seven years that I've been divorced. I have not been on one date. And I don't know why. I just don't meet the kind of people that I like, the kind of guys that I like. And if I meet a guy, and I think he's the kind of guy I like, mm -mm. it just ends up being something physical. And I swear, they've only been like Nigerian. Like I've met um, in the last seven years, I've met three Nigerians. It was nothing though epic fail and then oh yesterday well the day before yesterday so yesterday was Friday so Thursday I was in traffic and this car pulled up on the side of me you know this nice charger Dodge Charger great I mean silver or whatever and um so you know I'm in my own zone listen to my music that's I'm always in my own zone I don't pay attention to nothing and nobody but I do look around you know for my safety or whatever but, um, so I had looked across and I seen this guy and he was like, hello. And I was like, hi. So my window was partially down. My windows are not tinted like most people's. And, um, so he was just like, um, he was saying something. I was like, huh? So, you know, the light was red. So, okay. I rolled the window down partially. And then, um, why my voice just do that? I don't know. But <laughs> anyways. Then um, he was like, um, oh, you're so beautiful or whatever. And I was, I started laughing. I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, thank you. And he was like, can I get your number? And I was like hesitant. And I was like, eh, okay. And I was kind of trying to look at him. But you know how you're a side view, so you really don't see. You know what I'm saying? So I gave him my number. So he was like, I'm going to call you. I was like, okay. People started blowing behind us. I was like, okay. Then, right after I gave my number, I was like, oh, I, I instantly regretted it. But, anyway, so, I go home, whatever. Then, he calls me. We know we talk on the phone, everything like that. He was like, Oh, can I come see you? He's like, um, you want to meet up tonight? And I was like, no. I was already, I was like, I already took off my clothes and everything. I'm cool. So, we're talking, whatever. We're talking about stuff, you know. Good conversation. He's funny. Or whatever, you know. We like kind of gelling a little bit or whatever. So, he was like, um, we talked for probably like, I don't know, like a good 20 minutes or something like that. And then he called me back again. And he was like, okay, good night, whatever. And then he called me back the next morning, which was yesterday morning. He was like, okay, well, let's meet up. You know, it's a park around the corner from where I live at. Let's meet up at the park. And, you know, well, at first he was like, um, let's go somewhere for a couple of hours. I was like, 
a couple of hours. I was like, that means you want to go to a motel or something that you can rent for like two hours. If you know, you know. <laughs> if y'all know, you know, okay? And you know what that means, right? So I was like, what are we going to do for two hours? He was like, well, I mean, we don't necessarily have to do that. We can go to the park and talk. I was like, okay. Boom. He calls me and tell me he around there, whatever, around the time. And, you know, I go around there. Just, you know, just regular, smell great, you know, look cute, you know. But I didn't put on, like, nothing, like, real nice, like, something like this. Just regular leggings and t-shirt. That's it. You know what I'm saying? No lipstick and nothing, you know. Went around there, get there, whatever. So I get out my car, and he get out his car. Dingy ass, white t-shirt, the dingy as hell. These old ass corduroy pants. It like he didn't he didn't brush his beard. Like he had like you know how like when you need when a man need to shave, but there's some man that need to shave. They look good, okay. Now, I'm the kind of person, I don't judge people like that. If it's a guy, that maybe he might not be attractive to most people, but it might be something about him that I'm attracted to. You understand what I'm saying? So, I will talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it might be something else that I like about him that, that I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't judge people like that. I don't judge people like, as long as you got a job, I ain't tripping about, as long as you ain't asking me for no money, okay? Um, so, I don't trip about stuff like that, but this particular guy, like, I'm not the person like I used to be. Before, the person I was before I met my ex-husband, the person I was when I was married, and the person I am now are three different people. Like, no. I'm on some whole different grown woman stuff, okay? So, I'm just not settling for anything because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings or I don't want to make nobody feel bad or I should give everybody a chance. No. Because when a man don't want you, or he don't think you cute, or, you know what I'm saying, or you might not be the size he want or whatever, even though he try to talk to you, but then he might be like, oh, I don't like fat girls, but ain't nobody never did me like that, so, thank God, because I feel like if you talking to a plus size woman, that means you like plus size women, so don't disrespect her when you mad at her, you know what I'm saying, I don't play that, okay, but anyway, so, soon as I get out the car and I'm walking towards him, well, I didn't walk. He started walking towards me, so I started walking towards him. He trying to, like, grab me, like, hug me. I was like, why are you touching me? And I had on a mask, and he didn't. I already asked him, was he vaccinated? He said, yeah, because I'm vaccinated, too. So I was like, okay. But I was like, why are you having on a mask? We don't know each other like that. So he was just like, um, vaccinated or whatever. He just looked. He's 55, y'all. I'm 47. I'm about to be 48, okay? I don't have no problem with no 55-year-old. But the way he was just... You know how, like, if first impressions are everything. So if you first meet somebody, you want it to be like, you want them to like you. You want them to be interested. You want them to say, oh, you know, they look nice. And, you know, I got on a cute little jeans and a shirt, whatever. You know, they clean, they smell good. He didn't put no effort in it at all. I guess it was just like, I think it's just my face, y'all. I smile. People just like, oh, she's so sweet. She's so short and cute and blah, blah, blah. No. No. Y'all know me, okay? Like, if I put effort in meeting you, you should put effort in meeting me. So that was like strike two at that point, right? So he was like, oh, you want to sit in the car? I was, I was like, okay. I was telling myself, okay, Keisha, don't be mean. Just give him a chance. Give him a chance. So I don't, this is why I don't deal with nobody. This is why I don't, much as I want to be in a relationship again and all of that, this is why I don't deal with nobody. It's too complicated. I can't. It's too much. It's just too much work, y'all, okay? And I feel like if it's if it's a mature relationship or something, it don't, shouldn't be that much work. It shouldn't be that hard to do. It really shouldn't be, okay? So anyways, get in this car, whatever, talking, 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 talking. And I was just telling him how I feel about stuff. And I could tell that he, he thought I was going to be like, oh, okay. You know, I think a, a man should get what they want and this and that is so talking about sex and ever I tell y'all everything was shut off in my whole entire body. Like I wasn't feeling him at all. He kept trying to touch my hand. I was like, why do you keep touching me? He was like, I mean, are you scared of people? I was like, I don't know you. You just met me. Why are you touching me? Don't keep touching my hand. You know, and um I was just like, we talked probably for like a good 
I don't know, like 20 minutes or something like that. Then I was just like not interested at all anymore. Okay. I was done by the end. So anyways, by the end of the conversation, because usually when I'm talking to a guy and I just meet them or whatever, you can go Bobby. Just be careful though. Be careful. Cause I don't want my little setup to fall. But when I, when I meet a guy or whatever, I'm like, trying to get on the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to be mean and rude and nasty. I have a bad attitude and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but usually I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go with the flow. And then it just end up being sex. So I'm like, wait, I didn't mess with guys that wasn't that attractive. I didn't mess with fine. Okay. Guys. Hey, mm, mm, mm. That was so fine. Maybe they should have been like in, in, GQ magazine on the cover that fine okay so I didn't mess with all types of men older no I have never messed with anybody younger than me but so I'm like okay I keep telling myself you know how women do you know we keep telling myself okay be calm be cool okay give him a chance and then I was just like the more he talked I was like nope mm -mm. It re he reminded me of somebody that was like perverted he reminded me of somebody that, I mean, when you with a man, it is your man, that's your woman, whatever, you can be perverted with them all you want, okay? That's y'all's thing. But to just somebody you just meet and you touching on them and stuff, no, okay? We still in a pandemic, okay? Whether people pretend like we're not, we still are, all right? So, but if he was the kind of man I like, I wouldn't mind him touching me, though. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> for real. But anyway, so I was like... I don't know. It's just something about him. I was just like, we is not clicking. Like, he was, I mean, we had cool conversation. He's from the Bahamas. I never talked to anybody from the Bahamas. I talked to guys from the Caribbean, but not the Bahamas, you know. Um. So we was talking about his family and stuff. We was talking about his job and this and that and blah, 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 blah. But it was just like, I was just like, yeah, I like I like a man that's a man. I don't like to be around a man that have to ask me, like, they see that I need something, but they want to ask me, oh, do you need that? But you know I need it already. So why are you asking me? I don't like a man that have to tell everything to, like, oh, can, can, can you help me out with this or whatever? Like, you know, for example, like, if you... A man come to your house and he your friend and y'all messing around or whatever. And maybe your jaw need to be fixed or whatever. And he sees that. Now, the kind of man that I like would just fix it. He wouldn't ask me, do you need that fix? He see it needs to be fixed. Fix it. You know? So, we was just talking about stuff like that. And I was just like, um, you know, I like to be spoiled. I want gifts. I like stuff like that. Now, if I'm dealing with somebody, I'm going to treat them good, too. But, I don't know. I don't believe in all this stuff, this new stuff. Like, if a man taking you out on a date, like, y'all got to split the bill or, you know, you got to pay for stuff when y'all go out. You know what I'm saying? If y'all in, like, that type of relationship where y'all real, real serious and then he always paying me, you're like, you know what, baby, let me treat you. Okay, that's fine. But you got to get to that level, though. Because I feel like a man is, like, the protector, the provider. Not saying that you can't have your own money because you should. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't know. That's just the way I believe. Maybe it's the way I was raised. But anyways, yeah, so that was an epic fail. So so we ended up talking or whatever. And then I was just like, well, I guess I better go back to the house or whatever, you know. And he was just like, oh, okay, so what you going to do? I was like, nothing. I was like, I'm bored. I'm like a boring person, I guess, because I really, I'm like, I like me, though. But I don't really like. I don't go to clubs. I don't, I'm not really a drinker. I probably drink once a year, if that. Maybe not even once a year. You know what I'm saying? I don't smoke anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. And most people be like, when you don't, when you say you don't drink, they be like, oh my God, you don't drink. Like, why is that a bad thing that I don't drink or smoke weed? Everybody don't have to do that. So anyways, um, so he was just like, um, well, maybe I can call you later and we can go somewhere. I was like, go where? He was like, um, I don't know, because he had just said he was going to go home and take a couple of shots and drink some wine and stuff. He kept asking me, do I, would I drink wine? I was like, yeah, you know, if the mood is right, I'll drink a glass of wine. I don't have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not a avid drinker. I don't drink all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really drink. 
And so I was like, okay. So he was like, I'm going to call you later. And I was like, okay. All right, then. Got out the car. Went and got in my car. Look at my phone. And then I was like, Lord, please don't let him call me again. And he didn't. And the way his face looked when I drove off, he was just like over it. Yep. Yeah. And guess what? I do not feel bad because men do it like to us all the time. They'll be like, oh, I ain't feeling you or whatever, or I'm not interested. Okay, everybody have a right to be with who they want to, to talk to, who they want to talk to, and all that. So, no, I'm not compromising. No, That's what really got him. When I, he said, you're supposed to compromise, I said, I ain't compromising. No, I'm not. Because I can hear Earth the Kid saying when they asked her that in the interview that she did. And she said, compromise, why should I compromise? No, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to be who I am. Love me and hope to meet a man that loves me the way that I love me. Maybe even more. Because I feel like when you meet the right person, they are who they are. You are who you are. And you can be perfect for them and they can be perfect for you. Nobody's perfect, but you can be perfect for someone. You understand what I'm saying? Because all your flaws and imperfections, they love. And it's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're with the right person, you should not have to compromise who you are to be with them. That's facts. I've done that. It did not work. When I see people in healthy relationships, good relationships, that's because the person accepts them for who they are. You really have to love unconditionally. You have to really accept people for who they are. And if you accept them, doesn't mean you have to deal with them. Because just because you, you know what, that person is like that. He loves women. He going to always sleep around or whatever. But you know what? He cool. I ain't got no problem with it. We just not good together. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Don't mean that you have to hate them or whatever. But I feel like when you're meant for someone and you find your person, your person find you, y'all find each other. You don't have to compromise. I don't care what nobody say. I don't know everything, but I know in my life and from what I've seen in 47, almost 48 years, you should not compromise. Because when you start changing things about you to appease someone else, you're not going to be happy. You're going to regret it. Because guess what? They're not going to change anything about themselves to appease you. And most of the time in relationships, women change who they are for men and at the end of the day the relationship don't work out and they say well, i changed this for you you wanted me to do this you wanted me to do that and i did it and we still not together that's why all the emotions and all that pain and hurt will come up in a woman and make her do stupid shit to that man and his new girl because he didn't choose her and she didn't change all that shit to be with him compromise all that stuff sacrifice everything to be with him and he didn't do that for her so if a man put you in that position where you have to compromise who you are just to be with him, he ain't the one. And vice versa. If a man got to do that to, to please a woman, she ain't the one. Now, sometimes I feel like the right woman will make a man change his evil ways, but that's because he wants to, though. That's a choice that he made to do because he knows it's time up for the foolishness. And it's like, I'm not willing to lose her. And I know that I'm not doing stuff right or whatever, so I'm going to change who I am for her. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> anyway, that's the moral of the story, y'all. So, don't compromise who you are to please anybody. Okay? Because they are not going to do the same for you. Be 100% authentic yourself at all times. And if you are single, the right one will come along when it's time. And I know y'all probably like, girl, you've been single for seven years. Yeah, but I ain't selling for no bullshit, though. I ain't arguing with nobody. I ain't going through no unnecessary or any type of drama. Okay? I don't have it in me no more. Because let me tell you something. I will rip somebody apart with my mouth cursing. You this, curse the fact. I don't want to do that no more. And for what? Because there is something about me that I feel inside, insecure, that I was trying to make that man love me and want me or whatever, and he didn't. So I want to act the fool and do all that stuff for no reason. So I'd rather be single and happy and finding my, trying to find myself for myself 
And when God is ready, he will put the right person on a path to find me. And that's it. You know, but until then, I'm not searching. But I will be available to the right person when the time comes. I will be open and ready. You know, so. All right, y'all. It's been like 25 minutes. So I'm going to finish my food. And I hope you all are having a wonderful Saturday. And until next time, stay safe and be blessed. This was Keisha. Peace.